because I had the word vacation in it. But when I got there, there was no games or there was no pool, there was no water slide. There were certainly no blobs or go-karts. It was just inside the church basement talking about the Bible, which is cool. I love the Bible. There's some cool stuff in there. Very imaginative, very fun book. But they told me about the first book of Genesis where Adam and Eve were in the garden and it was awesome because they were naked all the time and they were just eating the fruits and they were just like living their best lives, just fucking eating all the fruits and being naked and just loving it. They were, they were living it and loving it. But then this snake came along and gave Eve this apple and she ate some of it. And then she gave it to Adam, and he took a bite out of it without thinking or asking any questions, as men sometimes do. But she is blamed for the downfall of mankind. It's all her fault. Shame, 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 woman. You should feel terrible forever. Kicked out of the garden. Painful childbirth. And you gotta wear clothes now. You can't be naked anymore. And I was 11, and I heard that, and I was like, what in the hank? This is awful. I feel so much shame, and I've been carrying this shame with me my entire life. Pick it up. <laughs> Give it up for my shame. God. Rural towns and religious places. Let's fucking go. Anyway, this is my rebuttal to Genesis. It's called Penis Envy. And I just want to say that I'm glad I ate the apple. And if anybody gave me an apple as a gift, I would eat it because I love apples and they're so good for you. And so is critical thinking. So it's called penis in me.
Oh